Recently, a couple of friends of mine asked me, why don't you show your Q3 how you typically use it? You always just show it on the bench. And I thought, yeah, that's true. I guess I haven't done that yet. So I'm, I'm going to show you how, what my use is. And here's my little station. I've got it on two carts because it's kind of neat that way because they're, they're mobile. And of course, I'm not using the rotoverter now, but I do have plans for it uh, in the near future. But um, so I've got solar power coming in, and there's the MPPT, and and it uh, charges up these four batteries here. Uh, these two here are in series. These are in series, and then those are in parallel for 24 volts. It's a 24 volt pure wave sine inverter, uh, sine wave inverter. So I've explained that uh, previously in other videos, and then and then the uh, output port from the MPPT runs the Q3 and these two again are in series and these two are in series and then those two are in parallel so it's a 24 volt system and uh, they're deep cycle batteries 105 amp hour batteries so there's quite a bit of storage in, in uh, eight of those. I'll show you what I'm drawing right now is about one and a half amps well, less than one and a half amps and that keeps this bank charged up at 13 volts each for each battery and over here the other bank from the solar is 28 point set well 29 volts and this only goes to 30 so the light turns red from green to red when you're at the the high level like that and it's only because this other bank I've been messing with for a couple of years and so they, they their standing voltage is typically about 14 volts uh, that's pretty good for a deep cycle battery with 105 amp hours so it's, it's pretty decent but you can see the the light flashing on the inverter going hey hey well, you know you're at the max input load here so uh, anyway but it's okay it doesn't it it's not hurting it but anyway so um, so that's my setup and I just use a little bit of the power from the MPPT to run this and charges all four of these through the Q3. I've got all the inputs running into these batteries from the Q3, the toroid, uh, the generator here, the pulse motor on this side and with its two separate outputs and, uh, and it does a very very nice job. Uh, I can run it slower at night or I can just turn it off at night depending on the usage but uh, typically I run things out in my shop but otherwise we use it as auxiliary home power or emergency power and it's just a really great way to go. Now this next demonstration I just wanted to show you I've been able to uh, reach a little bit higher voltage you don't have to use this but it's uh, 568 to 570 volts it, it usually uh, let me zoom in here usually hits now so now there's 569 so that's that's uh, pretty good over the 559 that I was typically getting before I wanted to show you I've got this little chunk this is kind of fun it's just a I can get my zoom to work right it's just a little chunk of, of heated up aluminum that was in a, a fire and it just kind of mixed up with some soil and and it makes a nice little spark I just wanted to show you the, the uh, spark that that 500 and some odd volts produces kind of cool doesn't need to be part of this typically I just use the the voltage that comes off the toroid and when I'm pulling about a one and a half amps it's it's putting out maybe 10 to 15 volts something like that it's not not whole lot of voltage and, and amperage but it does add to the system and it charges up those deep cycle batteries so that's pretty impressive in itself anyway thought I'd show you that uh, that's it that's it for now that's the, that's the system uh, 
it's very good I mean if you're looking for home power something like this is a really really good start for you thanks